What's up guys? Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be doing a review of a jumbo box of the brand new 2022 Top Series 2 Baseball. Uh, another nice flagship release from Topps. Uh, I know a lot of people love the flagship releases. I do myself as well. Uh, I'm very excited to see what Topps Chrome is like. Gotta love Topps Chrome and then Topps Update after that. Um, and Topps Chrome Update, Topps Sapphire. We have a lot of, a lot of good stuff coming down the pipeline. Um, starting with Series 2 here, which I'm excited to rip into this jumbo box. Uh, there's lots of good stuff we can find. Uh, I know some people are, are kind of disappointed in the rookie checklist because it's not as good um, as Series 1, just because Series 1 had Wander, but um, there are some, some, some good cards you can find in here. Uh, we're going to be guaranteed three hits. So um, before we get into all that product information, if you guys do like these review videos, please like and subscribe. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. Uh, we'll definitely do more on the channel going forward. So I uh, also did a review of a hobby box a little bit ago. So if you guys haven't seen that video, go check it out. We hit some cool cards, uh, had a little uh, last pack, silver pack mojo, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, so as far as these boxes go, I'll put the information up here for you guys. Uh, price wise, these are running right around $200 a box. Uh, I think I saw some maybe a little lower, $5 lower. Um, and they got up to as high as maybe 215, 225. So I would call it $200 even, which is not that bad of a price for a jumbo box. You're going to get a ton of cards. Uh, you get 10 packs in each box, 46 cards per pack. Uh, so 460 cards approximately. Um, you might get some less cards with your uh, big manufactured relic, stuff like that. But um, for $200, you're also guaranteed three hits, which is going to be one autograph, one mem card, and then one manufactured relic. So not too much value in the manufactured relic, but it is nice to have that guaranteed auto. And you can hit some pretty cool relic cards as well. Um, and then another nice thing about the jumbo boxes is you're guaranteed two silver packs. So uh, instead of just one in the hobby boxes, you get two here. Um, lots of good stuff to find in here. Of course, the rookies we're chasing after are going to be guys like Seth Beer, Shane Boz, Juan Yepes, O'Neill Cruz, and the guys everyone's really chasing after, Julio Rodriguez, Bobby Wood Jr., Spencer Torkelson. Those guys are all going to be short prints. So... Uh, hopefully we will find one of those. Uh, I'd be really excited if we did. Uh, I'm not sure that we will. The odds are not in our favor, but we can still hit some cool parallels and stuff like that. So let's rip into this box here. We'll get started. A ton of cards to get through. Uh, as with every flagship release, you do get a lot of cards for the money. Uh, it's not so much about the hits, but the parallels and... Uh, all the good rookies you can get so um, of course if you guys do want to follow me on Instagram or check out my eBay store as I struggle to put this box together you guys can check that out in the back there TMN underscore sports underscore cards um, yeah so check me out I'll follow you guys back if you guys follow me on Instagram we also got a uh, nice box topper here Bryce Harper there's the back of that one, a little oversized box topper. We have our two silver packs here, hoping for some more mojo, maybe a nice parallel. We'll save those for the end though. And then we have our 10 big old jumbo packs here. There's the front with uh, Guerrero. We have the back. There are the odds. If you guys wanna pause that. Uh, the golds up here, one in six. I believe that's halved from what series one was. So pretty good odds to find some parallels in here. And let's see if we can do it. Our good stuff is gonna be in the middle of these packs. So let's see. Here's the uh, design. Of course, same as series one, just with new players, but pretty, pretty decent, pretty uh, clean design this year for tops. No complaints from me. There's our first rookie of the box, San Martin. We're going to have a lot of base to get through. Yanni Hernandez, rookie. Another rookie of Overton. We'll try to go through this base pretty quick. They do make you flip a bunch. Uh, Cutter Crawford, rookie. Otani. Joe Ryan, rookie. We should get all of the good rookies 
in our jumbo box as well, just because there's so many cards. Joan Adon, rookie. Gonna have to flip here. Coming up to our inserts, Jake McCarthy, rookie. Austin Hayes. And we'll start off our insert slash parallel with a rainbow foil of Pat Valeka. Not a rookie card. Unfortunately, we do have a backwards card here. Is it going to be one of those short print rookies? White Sox. Who's it going to be? Zach Collins. That's going to be a gold parallel. Numbered 989 out of 2022. So just a uh, base gold there. Not too bad. Bobby Dalbeck, Generation Now insert. There's what the... Uh, Back of those ones look like. 87 of Max Scherzer, the all-star version. There's the back of those. It's just another insert set. And then we are back to base. Looking for those good rookies. Packy Naughton, great name. Matt Brash, rookie. Ortega, rookie. Another flip here, Alexi rookie, Jack Lopez rookie, and Nick Fortes rookie. So just the uh, one gold parallel really in that first pack, but hopefully every pack will have a numbered card. That would be awesome. Not expecting it, but I would definitely not complain. Not sure if we have a hit here or not. I don't see any thick cards, but could be wrong. Hans Kraus, rookie. More base, Charlie Barnes, rookie. Daza. And lots of flips in this one. We're coming up to the uh, good stuff here. Looks like we have a home run challenge. Matt Olson. Very nice. That'll be fun. We have a uh, gold foil following that of Fran Mill Reyes. Those gold foils are not numbered, but they are jumbo exclusive. Pretty cool. Be nice to hit a uh, rookie of one of those. Carlos Rodon. Nightclub insert. Just another base insert. And there's the uh, 87 base Vladdy Jr. So lots of inserts, but nothing too exciting. Definitely a lot of base. If you guys have opened any of these jumbos, let me know uh, how you guys have done. If you guys prefer the jumbos over the hobby boxes. I know most people do just because of the guaranteed auto. Um, and I believe your odds to hit numbered cards are better. So it's about double the price though. So a bit of a trade-off, but Justin Brühl, rookie. And that's it for that pack. All right, pack number three. Three out of ten. Still looking for any of the top rookies and a hit worthwhile to put in the back. Let's see if we can get it here. Dobnak, another flip. I might have to just stop flipping some of these base cards. Jordan, Toronto Talent, no rookies. We are coming up to our parallel here. It's another gold foil. This time it's Francisco Lindor. So another veteran, unfortunately. Another 87, Paul Goldschmidt. And more base. It's really not doing too much as far as good parallels here. Spencer Strider. Posa rookie. Uh, Austin Warren rookie. And a bunch of 
base, including this Kevin Smith base rookie and Taylor Widener. All right, still over half of the box to go. Still looking for all three hits, plus our silver packs. Could still have a lot of good stuff coming here. Mike Bauman, rookie. Otto Lopez, rookie. Cabrera, rookie. O'Neill Cruz, rookie card. Very nice. That's our first good rookie of the box, I would say. So I'll sleeve him up. Cease, Paddock, another rookie. This time, Angel Zerpa. Some more base. Another flip, of course. Gonzalez. Rookie of Feltner. We have another gold foil, so another non-numbered parallel here. Adabelt, Adabelt Berto Mondesi, gold foil. So not a rookie, unfortunately. We do have, I believe, our manufactured relic up next. And that is going to be an Ernie Banks, 87 or 1957 All-Star Game commemorative uh, little patch there. Pretty cool, not numbered, so not too much value on that one, but still decent. Cedric Mullins, Generation Now. Jack Flaherty, 87. More base. Can we find any of those other good rookies? Maybe another O'Neill Cruz in the rest of this box? That'd be pretty cool. Uh, Connor Sabold. Josh Lowe, Plowecki, and Quinn. All right, so get that crew sleeved up. We'll get that manufactured relic sleeved up. I guess I'll put it in the back since it is one of our three hits and probably our best hit so far, uh, which is sad to say, but we are only four packs in, so I will be looking forward to replacing that here soon. We may have another relic in this one. Velade rookie. Uh, Friedel rookie. Looking for those rookies. Here's another one. Castro. That's it as far as our first set of base. We have another rainbow foil, so another non numbered. It is a rookie though, Cooper Criswell. And we have a some sort of numbered card here. It's backwards. It's Carter Keyboom. Is that out of 50? It is out of 50. It's the uh, Father's Day Blue out of 50. Carter Keyboom, very nice there. That one is going to be numbered 10 out of 50, so not bad. That'd be cool to find a uh, rookie one of those, but Carter Keyboom. And we also have our second hit of the box. It's going to be a Xander Bogarts game used bat relic there. I don't believe that's going to be numbered. It is not, but of course, Xander Bogarts is a great player, so we'll take that one as well. Sweet Shades insert. There's the back of those, not numbered. Daryl Strawberry, and then back to base here, got Peyton Henry rookie, Luis Frias rookie, uh, John Heasley rookie, and any more rookies hiding in here, there's another one, Jonathan Diaz, And that's it. So three decent cards in there. We got the uh, Rainbow Foil Rookie Parallel. Of course, not one of the bigger names, but that's okay. We also got the Father's Day Blue of Carter Keyboom, which I'll put in the back since it is shorter print out of just 50. Kind of harder to hit, but not a huge name player. And then we got the Xander Bogarts. 
game used bat relic, which will replace our manufactured relic in the back. So hopefully we can replace these two as well. We're just halfway through the box. So thank you guys again for watching. Of course, like and subscribe if you guys like this sort of content. I will definitely be opening more boxes on the channel. I'm not sure how much more uh, Series 2 I'll do, just because the, uh, the checklist isn't that great in my opinion, but there's a Moran rookie card. But I might open some more um, you know, hobby or jumbo boxes, take my chances at a nice short print. It's a Ramos rookie card. Still looking for the majority of the good rookies here. The only one we have so far is uh, O'Neal Cruz, who's a Siri rookie. Contreras, Jonathan India, Lamont Wade Jr., another unnumbered rainbow foil, Yuan Moncada, followed by a backwards card of Chris Sale. That might be a uh, short print. I believe that is. Let me check the uh, code on the back. That ends in 865, if you guys can see that. And let me grab a uh, base card here. The base cards end in, what is that, 847? So, yep, we got a short print there. Short print of Chris Sale. We'll sleeve that one up. Of course, you're looking for those rookies, but Emmanuel Class A, significant statistics. There's the back of that insert. Trey Turner. And more base. So yeah, those, those rookies, uh, Julio and Witt and Torkelson, if you're gonna find them, they'd be right where that sale was. Flipped backwards. Uh, that's how the short prints come in these packs, which is nice, because then you know it's a short print, but there's a Gunther rookie. Unfortunately, ours was a vet, not a rookie, but I believe we do have a chance to hit multiple short prints. Um, the odds are obviously not going to be too great for that, but there are there is a chance, I should say. Let's get that Chris Sale in the back, and we will get through our last four packs here, and then onto the silver packs. We're still waiting for our autograph, our guaranteed auto. We've got our other two hits, but still waiting on that guaranteed auto. There's Alfonso Rios, Rivas, sorry. Uh, Ridings, rookie. Cooper Criswell, who we got the uh, rainbow foil of. Make sure my stack doesn't fall down here. Davies, Newman, another rookie, Brian Miller. Another rookie, Marcos Diplan. DJ Stewart, Stephen Piscotti. We should be getting close to our good stuff here. Greg Diekman, rookie. Jock Peterson, another gold foil. This one is Gerardo Parra, not numbered. Knight, was that Knight Club? Oh, it's No Hit Club. <laughs> no Hit Club, can't read there. Jim Palmer, insert. Reese Hoskins, insert. There's a Seth Beer rookie card. So he was one of the ones we were looking for. We got him. Kolasvari, rookie. There's the uh, Juan Yepes rookie. So another nice one. Elvis Peguero, rookie. Glenn Otto, rookie. And is that gonna do it? Can we get one more rookie? We cannot. All right, two nice rookies in that one. Uh, I believe we're just waiting on the Shane Boz rookie. I think we have uh, the other three. And of course, if they wanted to throw us a, one of the short prints, as I've said before, that would be much appreciated. Still looking for that autograph as well in our last three packs here. Hans Kraus, rookie. We may end up getting uh, 
duplicates of some of the good guys too, which would be cool. Charlie Barnes. A bunch of base. We do have another gold foil here. Yandi Diaz, so another vet gold foil, unfortunately. And what is that followed by? This might be our autograph. It's a Giants rookie card. Hmm. Not sure who that could be. I believe it's our autograph, though. Sammy Long. On card auto for the Giants. Definitely not the guy you're hoping for. Um, not numbered. Just the base 1987 rookie auto Sammy Long. So didn't do too well on the hits in this box overall, but we still have those silver packs to make up for it and a few packs left to find a nice parallel or short prints. See if there's any more rookies hiding in this pack. Still looking for that Shane Boz. And there's a Justin Bruil. Bruil? I don't really know how to say that, honestly. <laughs> All right, let's leave that autograph up. We'll replace our short print with the auto. We'll get into our last two packs here. So we hit a nice low numbered card. We got that Father's Day out of 50. Maybe we'll find a uh, clear or something cool. Maybe a platinum one of one. Lots of base to start off this pack. No rookies. There's a Jansen Junk rookie. Great name. There's a Colton Welker rookie. There's the uh, Shane Boz. That's the one we were waiting for. So we got all the big guys. And we have a rainbow foil, another non-numbered. James Caprillion, not a rookie card either. We do have a backwards card here. Can it be a short print? It's a Cub. It is Nick Madrigal. It's going to be a gold parallel future stars out of 2022. That one is going to be what? 0159 out of 2022. Willie McCovey, insert, Alec, Alec Manoa, Christian Yelich, and more base. So we did hit another numbered card, but unfortunately not a rookie parallel. And doesn't look like there's many rookies hiding out in the end of this pack either. All right, a lot of base in that pack. We'll get our Baz, or our Baz and our Nick Madrigal sleeved up. We'll get into our last jumbo pack before those silver packs. If you guys have made it this far, thank you for watching. I know these videos are pretty long, but there's a lot of cards, a lot of stuff to get through. So I appreciate all of you who have stayed and watched. Uh, San Martin rookie. Hernandez rookie. Overton rookie. Uh, Cutter Crawford rookie. I believe that might be a duplicate. Brian Reynolds. Uh, Yon Adan rookie. Valeka. Jake McCarthy rookie. Sean Murphy, another rainbow foil, another veteran. Oh man, Jed Lowry, followed by a backwards card, short print, no, socks, white socks, Michael Kopech, that is going to be the icy green, another veteran parallel, that one is 100 out of 499, sleeve that one up, Josh Hader insert, Bo Jackson insert, and some more base, Packy Naughton, second one of him, I believe. Matt Brash. 
I think this base is almost identical to our first pack. There's Ortega. And Alexi. Jack Lopez. And that's it. So that does it for the jumbo box, but we still have our two silver packs left. Hoping we can get a nice auto out of there. There's that Kopech again. Hoping we can get a nice auto out of one of these. Let's see, let's do this one first. I don't see a thick card, but there's the uh, design. There's a Marcus Stroman base. Matt Veerling, Veerling, rookie. Pretty nice one there. Otani, another good one. And Nick Castellanos. All right, let's leave that Otani and that Veerling real quick. Those are definitely two pretty decent cards. We'll take a uh, rookie silver pack. I do enjoy the uh, silver pack um, design this year as well. Can we get some sort of parallel or auto or something? We have a Heasley rookie, Corbin Burns, Matt Chapman, and our last card, Josh Bell auto. Very nice, cool, veteran auto. I was not expecting that. I didn't know Josh Bell had autos in this. I thought they were mostly uh, rookie autos, but that is a sticker auto. Let's see what it's numbered out of. That one is 23 out of 99. So that's back-to-back -back review videos with last pack, silver pack, mojo there. Very, very nice. We will take that and sleeve it up, top load it up before we do our recap here. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you've made it this far, uh, I know it's a lot, but let's do a quick recap. Some of our better cards. Here's our... Uh, Couple silver pack rookies, the Otani silver pack, Madrigal out of uh, 2022, the gold parallel. Some of the top rookies, silver foil or rainbow foil rookie. Another top rookie, Zach Collins gold out of 2022. Got that nice Kopeck icy green out of 499. Got that Chris Sale short print. Fortunately, not one of the rookies. Our manufactured relic was Ernie Banks. Got the Key Boom Father's Day Powder Blue out of 50. Our guaranteed relic was Xander Bogart's Bat Relic there. Our guaranteed auto was the Sammy Long Rookie Auto. But then the best auto of the box, probably, if I had to guess, uh, Josh Bell. Auto, not on card, sticker auto though, and that one is out of 99. So Silver Packs helped us out again. Um, but yeah, that was a lot of cards. Thank you guys for watching. That's it for this video. We'll be back with more videos soon. So like and subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. That's it. Bye.